What up, YouTube? Dark Dove coming at you from Minecraft Bedrock 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 and uh, I'll tell you what, this is the second video I've made where I got more than halfway through with the video and realized that I didn't hit the record button. Don't know what's up there, but anyway, got this crafter here. Going to use these two farms and this crafter to make pumpkin pies. You will notice that the recipe for the pumpkin pie is quite variable. You can put the items anywhere, doesn't matter where, as long as they are the proper ingredients and the right amount, you will get a pumpkin pie. That makes this a lot easier to, to do than something else with uh, three different uh, ingredients would be. So let's go ahead and start like this. These are temporary blocks. We'll point this crafter down. Let's go ahead and uh, put two out of this side here and then two out of this side as well. Go ahead and break the ones that are actually touching. That's where droppers are going to go. And they're all going to be facing or pointing right into that auto crafter. Next, we'll go ahead and grab a block. And let's bring it down like this. Go ahead and put another one there and there. Now we can break the ones there. Now, if we put dust here and here, every time you give this block a hard power, all three of those will fire. Okay? So let's go ahead and put pumpkins on top. And then inside of either side, it doesn't matter which, you'll go ahead and put eggs on one side and sugar on the other side. And the sugar when you make this, is going to be on the side closest to your witch farm since that's where it's going to be coming from. Okay. Next, we're going to come with temporary blocks. We'll place them here like so. Come down below with an observer like this. Break the one next to that. Place an observer pointing this direction. Break this one. Place an observer this direction. And then we can take this one out but when we take that one out what's going to happen is it's going to fire all of these so we're going to want to put a barrel under here first just like that nope right there okay now let's break that you'll notice they fired let's look in here boom got one now we'll go ahead and throw a dust on here you'll notice it fired again boom got two we'll go ahead and make our clock out the side here with blocks like this, you can break that one in the middle or come out and up here. Now we can bring a repeater here. I like to throw it on two ticks, but it will likely work on one tick. I'll put a uh, lever there, turn it on. As soon as I turn it on, this fired. And then over here, put a torch there. And now when I turn this, it's just going to keep, keep on going. And you'll notice that uh, we made quite a few of those pretty fast. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want this thing to stop before uh, they run empty. Because if one of these runs empty, what's going to happen is uh, it's, it's not going to stop in time and it's still going to try to make another one. And uh, the crafter under here will have items in it. And then the next time you cycle it, once you fill it again, it won't have the right recipe inside and it just won't work. So we're going to go ahead and place some blocks right here with one down here and here. We can break those two. Now we're going to get out our redstone comparators, place them on these three. We're going to put them all in subtract mode. And then we can place blocks out like this. And then out like this. Place them up like so. And then one right here as well. And then we can place torches like this. And then blocks on top of those torches. And then dust on top of those. Next, we'll come over with our comparators. We'll place them like this. Place dust on these. 
and then pick a side. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's see, what do we got here? We've got eggs, or uh, sugar here. I think I'll come out this side to leave the side with eggs free for the, uh, yeah, for that to lock on that side. So, uh, we'll grab another comparator, place it here, place a block here. Now I am going to place a barrel on each of these. I can break the blocks underneath the barrels. And then inside each of these barrels, we're going to place an item that stacks to 64. It doesn't matter which item. You'll notice I'm using torches. The next thing we're going to do over here, we've got sugar. So we will bring our hopper out of the side of that one over here this one is eggs we will place our hopper on top of that and right on top of the uh hmm i'm debating if i should put one in the side here or if i should put it up above i think i'll put it right into the side here and then no it's gonna have to go up one more because right on top of this is where our pumpkin farm over here is going to rest. Notice how we have two hoppers right next to each other like so. This one pointing into that one. Well, this one will be pointing down and will be pointing right down into this third one there. Feeding the dropper. Alrighty, so we went ahead and threw the uh, pumpkin farm on there. I extended it just a little bit to make a few more pumpkins. You can make it as big as uh, you can fit to make as many pumpkins as you want. This is passive. It's not going to make a whole lot, but if you use the witch farm a lot, eventually you will have quite a bit. Uh, as you see, I put it out this direction instead of putting these ones out this direction. That would cover the area where I'm going to place my chickens. So up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this block out, make sure it's not got water above it. If it's got water above it, you got to be fast when taking that block out so that you can then place your trap door there before the water falls. Okay, so I got that. I'm going to come down here. And then I'm going to come down here like so. And I'm going to cover here and here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this guy with as many chickens as I can using eggs. These things have about a 1 in 12 chance of actually giving you a chicken. But if you've got a chicken farm, you can get a good number of these. Oh, I keep hitting them. I would recommend putting at least 10 in there. Uh, too many of these guys can lag a server. So be wary of that. And once you've got all the chickens you want down there, go ahead and close this off. Next, we're going to go ahead and bring this line here up and over. To hit this block and what that will do is that will lock our clock in the off position when we don't have enough uh, yeah when we don't have enough items and then we'll get a repeater here on one tick and this is the witch farm that I made a few videos back. I took the ceiling out so we have easier access to this guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put another, another sorter right here. And it's going to be a sugar sorter. Go ahead and break that and place this here. If we had like a redstone torch farm, the sticks and the, the dust would then just have two more between this and this. 
and you would extend this out to let that uh, be. Okay, so next we're going to come down below with a temporary block. We're going to place one uh, right here. We will face our hopper there, break that temporary block, have our dropper facing right down there. Next, we're going to grab a block. We'll place one here and one here. Let's come back around and up. Now, right here, we can place our uh, comparator. I guess I've got to come in here, do some fancy footwork, I guess. Okay, so I'm back up here. I'm going to grab my dust, dust these. Grab a block, not there, but yeah, right here and right here. I don't need a target block because I don't have another sorter right next to it. If I had, like I was talking about before, the redstone torches being made right next to it, sorting right next to it, uh, yeah, they would all be craft or, uh, target blocks. But if you'll notice, this dust goes right into that because it doesn't have another block next to it let me demonstrate yeah it won't it won't power that block now it will power that block but then we'll come on the other side here and we'll place the torch right there and then inside this sorter we're going to do the same thing we did in the witch farm we're going to go in here and with a an item that stacks to 64 that you know for a fact is not going to come across this we're using it as a filler block you'll go ahead and throw that in those last four slots and then a whole stack of sugar throw it in there and it should stop at 41 and it stopped at 41 so back underneath here what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find a way to get this here to fire every time it gets an item in there so we'll go ahead and place this down here break that and place this here let's come back up i've got to get in there and place a comparator facing out and right into that block. Okay, so we'll break that, place a sticky piston right here. See, yep, that's got items in it. And then we are going to take and place our, where's that, our observer pointing directly into this guy here. We'll break that. And we'll face this one here. And now we can block this off. And we'll just make our walkway a little bit different. From this point, what's going to happen is anytime this witch farm's turned on, all the sugar that comes in here is going to get spit out of that dropper. Okay? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put a way to lock this and only send when it's called for okay so this is going to be locked when there's dust or uh, when this block is powered and this block can be powered when the dust on top of it's powered and you'll see i brought the rest of the farm up here i connected it with a water stream to the dropper that spits the sugar there is the lock it needs to come from this block with a repeater or it can come from Hmm. That line's not going to work. Yeah, this block with a repeater. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this number here. And then we'll put a repeater right here. And then we're going to run a uh, stairway up here for our dust to travel along. And I haven't been counting... But this should should be good. Right down here. That's where it's going to go. Okay. One more block there. And then we can break this. Yeah, I think this is going to work just fine. Now let's count them. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, ooh, 15, look at that, it just works. Boom. And from this point, what we're going to do is we're going to run our finished product over to where we want it. And I will say, let's see, there's a crafting table I add. So we'll place 
a double chest right here with a hopper running into it. Uh, let's see. So right here, we'll break that. And we will grab some glass, place there and there, and here, and here. We'll just do like this number. And we'll put one more there later. Uh, right now, we're going to place a temporary block there. And this is where our water, our bubble column is going to go. Straight up that way. Okay, I ran a line straight down out of the middle of there. That way I can see where I'm going here. We're going to put some blue ice down here. It's got to run straight into there, so we'll bring it this way until it lines up directly with that. Let's see, is this going to... Yeah, that'd be good. And then that direction. Right there. So right here is going to be our soul sand. Place that there, get rid of the blocks underneath it. And we can surround this guy here. And glow like in here. We will go ahead and place a water bucket there. We'll come in here, come up. And right about here is where we're going to have to come in, I guess. One there, one there. And this is going to be temporary. Place one here. And, you know, I think I'll put a glow like in right here means I could take that out and then I will put a water bucket there not an ice but a water bucket there have it flow this way then I can break that and place another water bucket there and then come over here and place blocks here and here and then there across the way now this chest here will be where our pumpkin pies end up Okay, so I've got this all set up to where as soon as it starts collecting sugar from the from the witch farm, it will start to make pumpkin pies. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Okay. And it's throwing sticks for sure. Let's see. Here's our sugar. Got seven. Well, it took some sugar. Oh, well, no wonder. So it's making them. You just got to make sure that you didn't make any stupid mistakes first. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. So we'll come around like this, and then over here, I'm going to break that, and then right there is where I'm going to put my water. And right there, it's going to go all the way over. Okay, now they should uh, all end up in that chest. And we will throw our looting sword in there. And to ex expedite this a little bit, we'll break this, toss a few of these in. All 
All right, they're coming up. Eighteen. Twenty-six. Let's take those out of there. And then let's take these out of there. And we'll AFK for a while. All right, so we are back. It has been a little more than 10 minutes. Let's see, we got about 15 in here. Sugar, we've got, so it looks like something else ran out. Um, this is not an accurate representation of how many you will get here. Um, I have 10 chickens and I have 12 pumpkin stalks. So between those two, they're not going to produce enough to make that much in this short of time themselves. I stocked up on eggs and pumpkins before I got into this. And as you can see right now, it looks to have enough sugar, but not enough pumpkins and not enough eggs. Uh, so... Yeah, it needs three more eggs, and it probably needs, oh yeah, at least one or two more pumpkins, it looks like. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, yeah, it's been real. <laughs>